if I had to pay gems for this, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be mad. Ah! Ah! It costs 19 gems and I have 14. I hate this game. Okay. Hi, welcome back. So, part three of the series episodes, we're playing the same story. And honestly, if you haven't watched part one or part two, they will be up wherever they are and in the description box below. So I suggest you watch them so you won't be lost because I don't feel like explaining the story because every time when I film these videos, I forget what I last did. So I can't help you there. But go watch part one and two and then come back and watch part three. Let's get into the video. Last time I checked, pregnancy test was positive, so let's go. Does that say I'm pregnant? Alex, ah, 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 mother, I'm filming. Alex, are you done in there? Some of us need, oh, some of us actually need the bathroom. Uh, yeah, I'll be right out. Okay, let's stay calm. I've had false positives before. Well then, I'll go to sleep and test again in the morning. Alex, I'm coming. The next morning. Omg, um, is that my period? No, no, no. The test last night was positive. <gasps> so I had a false positive. Oh, that's so sad. The only thing worse than a negative test is a false positive. The glimmer of hope before the dark crash of reality. Should I even go to work today? Go to work. <laughs> I guess I'll shower and go to work. What are you taking the day off for? Because you're not pregnant. So what? Where are those case files? They should be done by now. Yeah, they're getting there. Oh, I'm sad. That's all you have to say? Boy, you don't get your blonde stupid self out of here. Have you even been listening to me this entire time? Honestly, I haven't. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Then I'm going to find someone who can. Oh. Well then, what just happened? Oh no, my boss is going to be so mad. Wait, don't report me. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have went to work. Yikes. After work, I went straight home to clear my head of the disaster day I had. If it's Derek, I'm... What are you guys doing here? Okay, it's my friends that I need new ones of. We're kidnapping you and taking you out. Yep. We know things have been tough lately, Alex. So we're here to sweep you away and remind you how you deserve to be treated. It's girls' night out. OMG, you guys. Wait, it gets even better. You know that VIP- I'm gonna have to pay for this. I'm gonna have to pay for this. I, I know it. I already know it. You know that VIP pop-up party that happens in a different city every year? Yes, I was dying to go when it was in New York last year. Well, it's in our city this year. And we scored tickets. What? I've heard those are impossible to come by. You literally have to know someone to get in. We know how much you've always wanted to go. So let's just say we pull a few strings and call a few favors. I can't believe you guys did this for me. There's one more thing. How much gems is this gonna cost? A VIP party calls for a VIP look, so we got... <laughs> matching outfits and wigs. Why are they... No, the hair, uh-uh, that ain't cute. Or, you know, we could do what we always do. Don't even say it, Mae. The dive bar? What? Sorry for the smell. The toilets are clogged again. Ew. That's gross. I can't do it. I won't. Let's go to the pop-up party. Right, Alex? This chance will never come around again. Plus, you never know who might be there. I look so sad. It's girls night out, and we're going... We're gonna do it, right? We're going to... I have 43 gems left. And there's nine more episodes after this one. This, 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 
Story is setting me up to get together with him, and I don't approve of it. Like, at least let me get divorced first and him get out of his relationship, and then we could talk. But you know what? It's a game, and let's let's just let's just go to the party. Whatever. 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 Let's go to the club. Yes. I hate my wig though. My wig is ugly, in my opinion. Best girls' night ever. I'm so glad we did this. Totally. This is way better than the dive bar. Ha <laughs> ha So what's going on, Alex? We're worried about you. How are you gonna ask? We're supposed to have a girls' night out and you over here asking me questions about why I'm sad. I'm the, isn't this supposed to be a distraction? Alright. It's just all this pregnancy stuff. You know we're always here for you. Do you want to talk about it? I almost thought I was pregnant last night. Almost? It was just another cruel joke, a false positive. I've been trying for three years to get pregnant and all for nothing. We know how hard these last three years have been, Alex. But you're so hopeful and you keep pushing on. I really admire that. Me too. You haven't given up and that's amazing. I just wish I could talk to my husband about it, but you know how he is. Yes, we do. You deserve better. Seriously, you deserve a guy who will treat you right. A guy who cares about what you think. Well, if you know any guys like that, let me know. If you know your husband is bad, why are you still with him? I don't understand. So, so you're just gonna stay with him just because you can't find another man that will treat you better? I knew I was gonna be annoyed with my character later on in the story, and I, I am, I am. I don't, I don't like this character. I. Oh, thanks so much for talking to me, guys. It really helps to get this stuff off my chest. Of course, that's what friends are for. Now let's crush our girls' night out. Yes, the night is about you, Alex. And the good part about not being pregnant is that you can drink. <laughs> you guys are so right. Let's dance. I'm ready to dance. Heck yeah. Oh gosh, the dance moves. Oh, good lord. Check out the hobbies at 4 o'clock. Where? Oh no. Maybe make it more obvious, why don't you, Maeve? They are pretty cute. Alex, that guy totally is totally checking you out. I'm married. Oh, now you want to mention that you're married? Now? And he and he's probably checking you guys out, not me. No way, he's totally trying to catch your eye. Look. Wait, that's Derek. Does he know it's her though? I mean me? <coughs> Hello? Oh gosh, he is fine. And he's coming this way. Hey neighbor. Okay, he does know it's me. All right, that's good. You two are neighbors? So you must be familiar with each other then. Well, I'd consider us friends. <laughs> Definitely friends. Derek is a great guy. You guys would love him. A great guy, eh? Who, who we love? What are you talking about? Nothing. Enjoy talking. We have to, uh, walk over there now. Yikes. Your friends are funny. They are. Although they're acting kind of funny right now. <laughs> anyway, didn't expect to see you here. What brings you out tonight? I'm here with friend. I'm here with friend. Now with a friend. I'm here with friend. That's the second type of I've seen in this episode story. Celebrating his birthday. Sounds like fun. Oh, how was your interview? It went really well. Thanks for asking. I have a second round interview tomorrow. Shani thinks I'm lying about that though. Wow. Yeah, honestly, I kind of needed a night away from Shani to think about things. What do you mean? I've been getting the feeling that she's cheating on me. If she's cheating on you, I hope that's not your kid then. Because that'll be okay. She came home smelling like cologne a few nights ago and she doesn't really treat me like she loves me. Cause she don't. She despises you. She called you a loser. So, and I hope this isn't TMI, but I wore a condom the night that. Oh, so she's pregnant, but he used protection. So he's like, so that, I don't think that's my kid. Ooh, I always do. Oh, Shandy's cheating. I just don't know how she could possibly be pregnant by me. Wow. I really hope things work out okay. Thanks, Alex. Me too. I'm also 
Glad you're here tonight. Excited to hang out finally. Ready for a fun night. I'm going to say ready for a fun night because let's, that's what I'm here for. It be, it'll be good to do something fun and distract ourselves from all the relationship drama. Cheers to that. And you do make for a great distraction. Is he flirting with me? I am not flirting back. I have 14 gems left. No. Sorry, I didn't mean to make things awkward. I shouldn't have said that. No, no, it's okay. I just wasn't expecting. Before long, hours have passed without me realizing it. Talking to Derek was so easy, like two friends who have known each other forever. He made me laugh. He held doors for me. I couldn't help comparing him to my husband, wishing my own partner could be a little more like Derek. Hey guys, Maeve and I were thinking of getting some late night pizza down the block. That sounds like fun. Derek, do you want to come? Count me in. He's gonna ditch his friends? Alright. Is that a fortune teller down the street? Oh no. OMG, we have to do this. I've always wanted to go see a fortune teller. Maybe the fortune teller can tell you if that guy you gave your number to will call you. You think I'm joking, but I'm not. Come on, you guys. I guess we're going. In. You come to see your future. I don't know why I thought that voice. But I must do it. Come on, Christy. This is silly. Silly, eh? Sorry to tell you. <laughs> oh my goodness, this accent is so dumb. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Sorry to tell you, but when you arrive at the pizza place you're all headed to, you'll find that it just closed. What? Christy, did you tell her we were going to get pizza? No! Wait, hold on. You knew we were going to get pizza? I also know he's going to offer you a ride home. She's not wrong. This could be exactly what I need. I can finally ask this fortune teller a real question. THE question. The one that I've wondered for years now. The fear that I've had ever since that first pregnancy test came back negative. Is she talking about the vasectomy or is she talking about herself? Is it true? Can you really see into my future? Yes, it is true. Can you can you see a family in my future? A baby? Will I ever have a child? I have the answers you seek. Are you finally ready to know your future? If I had to pay gems for this, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be mad. Ah! It costs 19 gems, and I have 14. I hate this game. I wanna know, but I don't wanna spend more money now. Ugh. I can't I don't even make money off this channel. I can't even call it a business expense. It's just an expense. We're gonna stay in the dark because I'm not. I'm not spending money. I do not. Run away. Run away. No. On second thought, I don't think I want to know just yet. A choice only you can make. Good night. Come on, guys. It's getting late. All right. We're done with that. Can't believe it. And look, the pizza place really is closed. She knew everything. Anyway, Christy and I are headed uptown, so we'll catch a cab. Okay. Thanks again for dragging me out tonight. Let's catch up again soon. So, um, about that ride, you know, if you want it. I figure we're headed the same place after all. I'd love one. Yeah, it makes sense because why would she, like, go with a cab when he literally lives across? Yeah, that, that makes sense. Alright. It feels so good to be driving in the car with Derek. He rolled all the windows down and turned the music up loud. We both laughed together and just for a fleeting moment, so quick that I was shocked when it happened. I looked at him and thought how cute he looks while he's driving. And now he's sad. Alex, have you ever f Oh no 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 Oh no <laughs> I don't like this. Have you ever fantasized about a different life, a different partner? Have you? I thought about it. Me too. What would it look like, your ideal life with your ideal partner? 
I'll tell you mine if you tell me yours. I could go without knowing his ideal life. I'm gonna probably figure it out anyway, so my life is great. I I wouldn't change a thing. Oh. I'm lying, but I just don't want to spend money. And now my wig is off. Thank goodness. That wig is ugly. I could have just went like that. I would look so much better. Anyway, I had a lot of fun talking to you tonight. It was refreshing. I know what you mean. <laughs> oh, that's my phone. Frank? Yeah, listen to this one. Are you home yet? The trash cans need to be put out for garbage day. Jeez, he couldn't do it himself? Well, I guess he's not home yet either. That's strange. I don't think he said he had any plans tonight. What time is it? Past midnight? Yikes, I hope everything's alright. He's usually home by this time. Alex, I really didn't want to tell you this. Um, no. But I have reason to believe that both our partners are cheating. If it's with each other... To be continued! This was the shortest episode ever. Like, this was so short. So we're gonna go into episode 4 just right away because we might as well. But we had to watch ads. Frank is cheating? I saw him sneaking out one night really late. He went like this. He looked really guilty. I knew Frank was acting strange recently. Do you think he's cheating, Alex? Mm. Oh, I got a gem. Oh yeah, I forgot every story that you do, you get a gem. So, maybe he is cheating. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he is cheating. I'm gonna just say he is because I don't want to lie again. So, maybe he is cheating. I've been feeling like there was something off about him lately. He's been jumpy, nervous, avoiding eye contact. I wasn't sure what it was, but I had this gut feeling that he was lying to me about something. You're really perspective, Alex. I trust your gut on this. You're right. I'm just saying, it should be easier. Like, Bella and Edward and Twilight, Danny and Sandy and Grease, Daisy and Gatsby and the Great Gatsby, Twilight, I don't really remember, Grease, I never watched. I'm gonna just go with the Great Gatsby, because why not? Is that your favorite fiction couple? Maybe. Good choice. Ah, lying next to my husband. I let out a sigh. Fiction was fiction. The love, the romance, a connection that could conquer all. Real life wasn't so simple. Will you quit moving around so much? You better not throw off my sleep schedule. I have important meetings Monday. You know what? I'm just I'm tired of disrespect. Irritable as always. How did we get to this point? The next morning. Well, I have a cute outfit on. Hey Alex, what's up? I'm pretty sure Frank is cheating on me. <laughs> Stop that a-hole. How about automatically do group calls? Like, alright. He should know a good thing when it's right in front of him. Maybe I'm not enough of a good thing. Alright, no. I'm way too cute to be- No, no. OMG, Alex, no. You wouldn't talk about us that way, so why is it okay to talk about yourself that way? That's a smart line. That was the most- That was the smartest line that was in this entire story so far. You are so enough, Alex. In fact, we're gonna show how enough you are. They literally took me out. How was that? Alright. We've been looking for- this month's it girl at celeb this month and you know what i want us to feature you you want to feature me in the magazine i think you mean on the magazine the it girl is celeb magazine's cover shoot omg we're run a fun we'll run a full interview with you you can talk about your writing your job your love life you're the cover girl it's whatever you want to say that sounds amazing hold on if we're gonna do this we need to do it right what do you mean two words spa day we're getting you full glow up alex I'm talking cute matching robes. How many gems is this gonna cost? How many gems is this gonna cost? How many gems is this gonna cost? I'm just gonna cut to it. Um, and then we're gonna crush that photo shoot. I love you guys. Let's remind you how amazing you are and show the world too. What do you say? 29! Oh, I wanna be on the cover of that magazine. I want to hear nothing. I want to hear no voices. No, no noise. I want to hear nothing. Let's do it. Ah, I already feel relaxed. And we're just getting started. Welcome to... Welcome to Den of Zen. 
You'll find your complimentary robes and slippers in the locker room. You have cucumber water and matcha cookies in the treatment waiting area. Yay! Mmm, these ropes so mmm, these ropes so soft. Why don't why don't we spend every weekend at a spa again? <laughs> so Alex, it's your glow up. What should we do first? Hmm, let's do facials. Let's get facials first. My pores could not agree more. My pores could not agree more. We have a variety of masks masks to fit your skill care skin care goals. I cannot read. What are you looking to focus on today? Just a little TLC. I don't know what that is. I guess we'll just do hydration. My skin's feeling a little dry. For dry skin, I recommend our hydrating mask with white tea and honey. Perfect. Oh, we look weird. Time for our massages. I wish I could get a massage. I've gotten a massage one time in my entire life. Once. How's your massage, Alex? So good. How's this pressure? It's perfect. Perfect. Great. I'm so excited to feature your story in Celeb Magazine, Alex. What do you want to say? I'd love to talk about my writing. Let's not talk about my fertility struggles. Even though I haven't had my big break, writing has rewarded me in so many ways. That's the nature of, of a passion and a dream. It owes you nothing, but it gives you everything. That's really beautiful, Alex. You're going to be our best it girl feature yet. New Dell. And now for our last stop of the day. What is this place? New Dell Agency. Slub Magazine has a partnership with them. We do all our major photo shoots here. We'll be meeting with their top photographer today, Harley Fox. He shot every A-lister you can think of. OMG! This issue is coming just in time for the Spring Music Festival. This is your set. Here we go. Ooh, this is a cute outfit. How do you want to pose for the cover? Sweet, confident, flirty. Let's do confident. This outfit is cute. On writing and more, our it girl opens up. So how do you feel? I can't believe I'm looking at myself on the cover of Celeb Magazine. You deserve it, Alex. Thank you guys so much. I had the best day today, and the fun will continue tonight. We're still going to the costume party at the Lounge on Lark. Yes, I can't wait to dress up. We never miss a chance to dress up. Just remember, Alex, you'll always have us by your side. I love you guys. All right, my friends are cute. I, I accept them. They're my friends again. I'm down to my last nerve, Derek. What do you mean I shouldn't have quit my job? Wait, Shandy's fighting with him again. I know he must be tired of this. I'm tired of it too. You're back. Just for a minute, I'm going out with the girls tonight. Again? I know you was not complaining about me going out. You never even wanted me in the house anyway. Didn't you say you were tired of having sex with me every night? So, shut up. Doesn't matter. I mean, that kind of stress can't be good for trying to get pregnant. Oh, now all of a sudden you care about me getting pregnant? I know she didn't even want to have a kid. Vasectomy, man. Oh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. But I don't care. I'm going out too. So why are you trying to comment about me going out if you're going out too? I want to stand. I'm getting up too upset of a fake person. I'm just... Bye. I said... Then leave. leave. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs> Watch too many TikToks. OMG, Derek texted me. Texted me. Should we start a competition of which of us gets in more fights per week? Um... I know just the way to respond. What's the prize when I win? I'm gonna just say, OMG, I'm dead, you're so on. I'm gonna just do that because I ain't gonna spend more gems. Literally, I'm dead, you're so on. When I win, you're gonna take me out for drinks. Haha, <laughs> dream on. You'll be the one taking me out. Please, I got this in the bag. I guess we'll see. May the worst relationship win. Oh, well, that doesn't sound so good when I put it that way. Haha, <laughs> what are you and Frank doing tonight? I don't know what Frank is doing. He just left. I was like, bye. I'm going out with my friends again. The same ones for the other night? Yeah, they were nice. What are you and Shandy doing? 
Well, Shandy has locked me out of our room. What? So I'm currently making up my sofa bed for the night. OMG, stop. Maybe you're gonna win this competition. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I really want to see you. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, yeah. We're going to this new lounge unlock if you want to come. No. As much as the sofa bed sounds appealing, all you have to say was sofa bed. I'm so down. It's a costume party, but I haven't figured out what to wear yet. I've got this in the bag. Wait till you see this. Haha, ha, what? He's already here? Ah. How did he dress up so quickly? The exhilarating ripple of her voice was a wild tonic in the rain. OMG, you're Jay Gatsby. We can't let our heartbreak make us give up on love. There's a great love story out there, right? Wait, right here. So I'm gonna be Daisy? Of course. His mouth is cute. Wow, I'm so sorry. It's just, I've never seen a better Daisy. We have to wear this costume. It's too amazing, right? I don't want nothing big to happen with him. But I have to wear a costume. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> Whatever, I'm wearing it. Yes, I hate this game. It's alive in here, probably because we showed up. You are so right. Your and Derek's costumes are so freaking cute. Speaking of, where'd he go? Getting drinks at the bar. Go talk to him, we'll find you here. Long line? Oh yeah, nothing like a costume part to bring out a crowd. I was saving it for the right time to tell you, but I've got big news, Alex. Oh, he got the job? I got the job. No way. Kiss him on the cheek? No. Start cheer. Derek. Derek. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's just keep it at that. I really wasn't sure if I was going to get it because of my record. What did you do? It's a long story. I've got time. I mean, I do. Might as well. So, I grew up playing ice hockey. My mom wasn't in the picture. It was just me, my dad, and my little brother. We did. Why do I just do these accents just randomly? Anyway, we didn't have much money, but whatever my dad brought in, he put towards us. A lot of it went towards my hockey. Did you like it? Hockey? Oh, I loved it. And I was good. My coach said it was what I was meant to do. The goal was for me to play in college, then professionally. But then my dad died when I was 17. Heart attack. Suddenly, my brother and I were on our own, and it was up to me to take care of us. I didn't want to stop playing hockey. It was my way out. I couldn't fathom letting it go. And after everything my dad had for me, all the camps, the leagues, the coaching, I felt wrong to give it up. But we no longer had the money for me to keep playing, so I turned into stealing. At first it was little things, perfumes from department stories, cheap watches, and one day I got the biggest news of my life. What was it? I was being recruited by the top ice hockey team in the country to play call, call a gate for them. Wow! That's amazing. There was just one problem. I needed a deposit for the first year's tuition. A thousand dollars. I didn't have it. I knew it was a bad idea, but I didn't know what else to do. So that night, I stole a car. I felt it was abandoned. I felt I could maybe get a couple hundred selling it for, it, bleh, selling it for parts. But it turned out to be someone's car, and I was caught for it. Um, gee, in hockey, what happened? Oh, I have a headache. This, this accent's giving me a headache. I guess I didn't think dessert. I guess I didn't think I deserved hockey anymore. I never responded to that recruiting letter, and they went with someone else. That guy went on to be. To, blah, 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 blah. That guy went on to play professionally, and well, I worked odd jobs for a few years. Met Shandy. And here we are. Do you ever miss it? Oh, all the time. I actually haven't even set foot on an ice rink since that day. You're kidding. I wanted to, but life's just different now, you know. And that's that. I feel for him so deeply. He wasn't with Shandy. He wasn't who Shandy made him out to be. He was kind, caring. It just happened. I didn't know they meant night like that. I just, oh no. No, 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 no. We were going through the same things. One thing just led to another. We ended up at a hotel. No. And then we ended up sleeping like, no. Oh. Gosh, I cheated. I cheated. I cheated. Oh. I never thought I'd be a cheater before, but I guess. Next morning, I can't believe what happened last night. But something about this, it just felt right. <laughs> Watch me get pregnant. 
Uh, why doesn't Frank ever pick up after himself? That's not his. This isn't my scarf. It's probably just, it just, probably just got mixed up in our laundry. I'll bring it back down to laundry. No, that's another girl's. So back to what I was saying about Derek. You know, I'm just sticking with him so he can buy me things for the baby. I don't even care about him, but he's like a good person. He'll make sure me and the baby have nice things. Yikes. Can I let you in on a secret? The baby isn't even Derek's. So she, he was right. To be continued. Alright. I think the first two episodes were just really long to give out information. And now the episodes are starting to get a little bit good. But like the fact that I had to spend money to pay for more gems is annoying. Like the amount of times you had to buy gems is annoying. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, smash the thumbs up button and hit subscribe and subscribe to my channel. Because if you're watching my videos and you like my videos, like the button, press the like button, and then subscribe. If the subscribe button is red, that means you're not subscribed. So press the red button so you can be subscribed. Yeah. And also hit the bell notification so you can know whenever I post. I have made a schedule. I'm posting on every Tuesday and Friday at 4 p.m. And if you want to continue watching these episodes, I post them on Tuesdays at 4 p.m. So, with that being said, I'll see you guys Friday for the next video. Bye.